During the first Wizarding War, it appears to me that the Ministry of Magic were quite contradictory of their own legal system, showing strength, yet huge weakness also. After Voldemort's downfall, the Ministry went on a vicious hunt for the remaining Death Eaters and supporters of the Dark Lord. Barty Crouch Sr. still hadn't lifted the use of the unforgivable curses, so Aurors were just as ruthless as Death Eaters themselves. Aurors like Alistair Moody became infamous for his high success rate at catching those who followed the Dark Lord. Dozens of these wizards were captured and turned over to the Ministry for the crimes they had committed. As expected also, these criminals were sent to Azkaban for life, unless they could provide information on dark wizards of importance who played key roles in trying to overthrow the Ministry. Unless they could provide information, which we've seen happen in the books. Igor Karkaroff, the prime example. He secured his immediate release for providing information on several of his Death Eater comrades. In fact, he gave more help than most would think which, according to Severus Snape, is the reason why he plans to flee if the Dark Mark continued to burn more severely. Igor was released, set free, all because he betrayed his former colleagues. For me, personally, it shows a huge weakness on the Ministry's behalf. Igor Karkaroff was a convicted Death Eater who served the most dangerous and powerful Dark Wizard to ever exist. He participated in the torture of Muggles and most likely killed people in the name of Voldemort, and he gets released completely without any consequence, not even a reduced sentence, no restrictions, and furthermore, he goes on to become the principal of a school. It's completely ridiculous, and this is a man that should have suffered some punishment at least, but it shows just how desperate the Ministry were to get to the bottom of these very distressing series of events. The government's attempts to find an answer, to find the culprits, led them to contradicting their own legal system. The Ministry of Magic has seemed to have a primal focus on keeping the public happy. As long as there was calm, as long as the people had answers, then nothing else really mattered. Criminals like Igor Karkaroff went free. And wealthy, prominent men like Lucius Malfoy, who claimed to be under the influence of the Imperious Curse, and had absolutely no idea or no memory of anything that has happened during the First War. And he got away with it. In fact, not only that, Lucius went on to become a prominent and influential figure within the Ministry itself. Or how, or how about imprisoning innocent people upon hearing mere whispers and rumours in order to fill cells at Azkaban once again to meet the public outcry for justice? That's all for today's video everyone, we are almost at 3,000 followers on Instagram. Get on, follow me at InstaDeanJ and you'll be entered into the one giveaway. Thank you very much for watching today's video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If I have earned your subscription then please make sure to click that subscribe button as it is very important in helping my channel grow. If you like this video then make sure to give it a thumbs up as it's also important in helping the video grow. Thank you very much again for watching and I hope you all have a great day.